This is Duke University. Social behaviors always had a huge impact in marketing. Um, even before the advent of social media, people relied on others to make uh, purchases and choices. It's just the scale has increased dramatically. Um, why? Because the cost of social interactions is lower as a result of all sorts of new technologies that facilitate social interaction. You know, as a result, companies can leverage these tools to accomplish new things, you know, one of which is create brand communities. The other is to um, engage customers and get them involved in evangelizing the brand. It can also be used just to listen in, understand customer perspectives in order to improve services. There's a couple wonderful examples today from the Washington Nationals and also Sears and the tools they use to make those outcomes occur. What we've done here in this conference is mix together faculty uh, with students, with alumni, with people in the business community. Um, and it has, that, that kind of interaction has a, has a number of benefits, as you might well imagine. The students learn some of the latest edge applications. Um, the faculty can share some of the latest broad insights and frameworks with organizations making decisions. These organizations can feed back to the faculty some recent applications. For example, mobile tracking and the implication for sales we learned today from Sears that it's quite possible to learn that uh, particular customers in a competing outlet right? and then design and target promotions that competing outlet. You can imagine a faculty member working with these kinds of data in Sears to enhance the efficiency of those kinds of promotions one day teaching that in the class to students. So um, and on top of that the participation of Forbes has been central and essential because it's getting out um, the fact that these synergies exist um, also sharing some of the latest findings and frameworks with the business community um, and thereby continuing the synergy uh, and amplifying it. 